Hi, Morgan Hughes here with another edition of Your Caster Connection. Today we're going to be talking about the anatomy of stem casters. They're a kind of complicated thing, and if you don't know what you're looking for, you might be confused. We're going to start with the actual stem portion of the stem caster. This is where you need to start off uh, when, you, when you're trying to figure out what kind of caster you need. Uh, this is a grip ring stem caster. Uh, it has a uh, kind of a friction ring here that keeps the uh, caster locked in the application. This is a square stem caster. This is kind of uncommon. You might see these in bakeries and, and that kind of thing. This is a hollow kingpin. Now you're saying, well, that's not a stem. It's a, it's a hollow kingpin. But you do use a stem to attach it to the application eventually. So this kind of is a, a stem caster. By far the most common uh, stem in the caster and wheel industry is the threaded stem. This is a half 13 by inch and a half long threaded stems. They come in 3 8 they come in 5 16 they come in a lot of different sizes. This is what we call a grip neck stem. You'll see these in uh, wood bottom applications if the bottom of your cart is made of wood. This is an expanding stem. Uh, you'll find these in square or round tube legs. Uh, it's made of various components that, when engaged, expand to fill the inside diameter of a uh, round or square tube leg. Next, we'll move on to forks. Now, now uh, forks with stem casters are a little bit different than forks with traditional top plate casters. Uh, for instance, you'll see uh, swivels and rigid casters when you're talking top plates. The stem is actually attached to the raceway on a stem caster, so you're only going to find swivel casters when, when you have a stem caster. Now, you can sometimes tack weld a swivel to become a rigid. Uh, it is possible, but that would need to be kind of a special project. But we can do that if you need us to. Another thing with the forks, uh, you'll see kind of two different standard options. One is a dust cap over the raceway. Uh, that is this right here. This is a non-dust cap. That, that kind of just depends on the application if you're trying to keep debris out of your upper and lower raceways. A dust cap would be a, a great uh, option to help you accomplish that. So do yourself a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You never know when it might help you out.